One of the reasons a 401k can be such a good retirement savings vehicle is due to employer matching funds. However, a problem for 401ks can be their limited investment options. When a 401k is rolled into an IRA, the world of investment options open up. If you're 59 and a half, have recently lost or changed your job, you can possibly roll your 401k over into an actively managed IRA that can give you a wider range of investment options that fit you. Call us today. We can help. And good evening again, ladies and gentlemen, as the microphones tested out, getting the Marty cued in here, ready to go for tonight's action. We've got the Ava Lady Bears here hosting the New Covenant Academy Warriors volleyball team. Getting ready to have a national anthem here in just a little bit, and then we will get ready for the first set. It is Ava Lady Bear Volleyball Night here on this Tuesday evening on the best radio in the Ozarks, and I believe you're also watching it on tdhmedia.net. When it comes to tough, versatile workhorses, nothing compares to Kubota's full line of RTV series utility vehicles. Engineered to last and designed to deliver, Kubota's RTV X series doesn't just lead the way on rugged dependability, it leads the pack. From big jobs to small projects and daily chores. Choose from America's top selling family of diesel utility vehicles to help you do it all. Your local Kubota dealer, Edgler & Harper Farm Equipment, located in Mountain Grove. At Rick's Roofing, we have expanded our business. We are now dozing for timber and other excavating work. Skid steer work, some brush hogging, brush mulching. Also, helping you build your driveway, building houses or shop pads. Backhoe work, septic work, and dump truck gravel hauling. Free quotes. And of course, we're still taking care of your roofing needs too. 683-8081. That's 683-8081 for Rick's Roofing, LLC. Hi folks, this is Jay Loveland of Jay Loveland Auto Sales, and I'd like to invite you all to our new setup in Mountain Grove. We have a great inventory of affordable cars, trucks, and SUVs, conveniently located right next to Walmart and Burger King. Find us also online at jlovelandautosales.com or 417-345. 494444 and remember at J Loveland Auto Sales we always do the right thing. Hello Bear fans. This is Garrett Chapman at Century Bank of the Ozarks. At Century Bank, we are a true community bank for your way of life. Since 1894, Century Bank of the Ozarks has maintained its reputation of friendly service and quick local decision making. Stop in and let our friendly staff introduce you to our outstanding banking products and services. Banking decisions made at the local level, right here at home. That's Century Bank of the Ozarks, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Nancy at the crew with Long Dollar Furniture and Appliance right now with lots of appliances in stock. Electric and gas cook stoves, refrigerators, and some comfortable recliners. Come on in and set in one and see if it can work in your living room or man cave. That's Long Dollar Furniture and Appliance, 683-3424, located in the Old Barn Shopping Center. If you're looking for ways to save, Tyson Applewood Smoked Bacon 16 ounce package $4.99 during our meat sale, Town and Country, Ava, Missouri. Club pack, breaded chicken breast chunk nuggets $11.99 for five pound bag and club pack breaded chicken breast fillets. $12.99, five pound bag, Town and Country, Ava, Missouri. Megan Hansel. Alice Santavito. Lily Auer. Mia Ellers. Hattie Hessman. And Mallory McBurney. The libero Megan Auer. And now the starting lineups for your Ava Lady Bears. Number three, Addie Crofton. Number four, Hannah Evans. 
Number six, Lexi Gastineau. Number 12, Balin Alexander. Number 15, Sarah Mendel. Number 23, Keely Akers. And the libero, number 20, Lauren Hall. The Lady Bears are coached by Bailey Loach and assistant Brandy Harville. Well, didn't know I was going to be doing that as we get started here for this volleyball broadcast. And uh, hope that was okay, Bailey. Hope, hope we got through that all right. No problem. We do it all here on Cause Radio. And we are joined now here by Sarah Roy. Always a pleasure to have you with the headset on and with us, Sarah. Hi, I, I can't really hear you, but I guess it'll be okay because you talk kind of loud. Well, that uh, I'm sure that was probably evident there <laughs> over the uh, microphone. I'm still in foxtrot mode. We, oh, know, yeah. So you got to yell and scream out there. I love it. To uh, really I love get them it. going. So I imagine from Cooper's starting intro, that was probably a little different last week. A touch. You weren't quite as nervous as he was. He was a little befuddled at that. Ah, uh, that that problem. Cooper is very much more prepared than I am. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, he was like, side, we had so some that, things going on, and it kind of threw him for a loop. But that probably very much gave him uh, a wrench in his plan. Yes. But I know he got through it all right. He did. Uh, did an outstanding job with the football game. Him and Caleb Johnson on Friday as well. And so, oh, yeah, I watched and listened to that as well. I was at home. Yep, so. yep. I was getting yep. in trouble out there at the Fox Trotters because <laughs> I was paying attention and missing my cues of <laughs> when to Fox Trot and when to Flat Foot Walk. Uh, uh, but uh, uh, now we shift gears here to a little volleyball. Yeah. Bears coming fresh off of their tournament in Forsyth over the weekend. Come into this thing with a record of 4 3 and 2. Uh, how do you get a tie in volleyball? Uh, that's when you're at a tournament, and in a tournament play, in pool play before you start, like actual going to bracket play, you only play two sets. So you can win one and you can lose one, and that's it. That's your, that's your tie. Okay, New Covenant has a record of 5 and 4, coached by Lindsay Lexinger. And there is the first one, and it is a ACE Ace. Yes. If I get my terminology back in order. Here. Yes, I can't wait for the. Slamma Jamma. Slamma Jamma, the Oak. Yes. I've, I've been practicing I'm all sure. day here. That is a very, very high throw up on the side. Yes. And it goes to the libero, Lauren Hall, and uh, not played there. And uh, the girls right now just a uh, little bit rusty, it seems like, here at the start. You know, we started out pretty slow last week, and then they really got it together. So give them a minute. Give them a minute. Lauren Hall handles that there we one go. very nicely. Alexander puts it over on the other side. Here's New Covenant, and they end up getting a point. And the Lady Warriors here with a quick 3-0 lead. Play a little bit of everybody. This New Covenant, you got some teams from Springfield, and they go far out west to play Sarcoxy. Came down and actually played Bradleyville not too long ago. Really? Yeah. Fun fact. Trip oh my goodness. Uh, Woo! Unable Missed to another serve. That one. Oh. As uh, I've got my rosters here mixed up, that was Croston on the attempt. Croston, one of the team leaders in digs. That's right, Sarah. I've got some stats working with here. Well, too bad we're in serve receive and we're not digging the ball yet, but oh. time will come. It will come. I almost found a very smart ball. Hey, you're going to get it. You're going to get it. <laughs> there the Lady Bears have a much needed side out. Take it to the other direction. Going to make a little sub here. Sam's going to come in for Keely Akers. And she's going to serve right away. Hopefully get some of these points back. Yes, this is Sam Keys, I believe. Number 26. And she puts one over. Nice little soft one down the middle. Lady Warriors tip it back over across. Hall to Gastineau. Hannah Evans still getting used to seeing some of these softball players right? out there on the floor. Oh. And there's another point for Lady Warriors. And, uh, a much bigger talent pool you have to choose from with the uh, two sports not competing together yes, in the fall. It's so awesome. And I think it's only going to help softball out. I hope so. I mean, it's helped us out volleyball-wise yeah, tremendously. I think uh, the same thing that's happened here in the fall, you would think, would translate over into the spring. Right. There's just so many motions that we do in both sports that are similar that I hope will help out with them, too. 
5-2 to score, Lady Warriors. Here's Lauren Hall to serve. Been a solid lefty, has played pretty much, I think, uh, her whole career here yep. at the varsity level. And there gets the point for the Lady Bears. Yeah, we talked about this last game. Um, Lauren's normally been playing front row, and we've shifted her over to libero this year. So she's done a great job. Give us, give us a little terminology here. What are the responsibilities and duties of the libero? Uh, get some digs. <laughs> um, serve good. Now I'm waiting pass for you good. To term here. Yeah. yeah. Serve good, pass good. Also be like that kind of leader on the court because she's going to be out there the whole time. The only time she's not out there is when she can't serve one rotation. So when I when I think of a libero, I think of versatility. Yes. When they can do a, multiple things out there. Multiple things. Here's Lady Warriors. Ooh. Lady Bears have it at just a one-point deficit now. Rattled off a few in a row. Alexander passes it over. Hit up high in the air, and then the Warriors hit it out. Yeah. And another point for Ava. Yeah, I think that was totally outside of the antenna on that one. So see, here we are. We're at 5-5. Five, five. I told you to give us a little patience. We'll get this together. It's just a little bit of a slow start here. A lot of volleyball left to play. Uh, a lot. Especially with the old best of five format. Oh, my goodness. Still not really on board with that one or understand it. Here's Hall to tip oh. over and all they got behind us out of position there as we had had that back row have to move up to play it across and yep. then they send it right back over to the area we vacated. Yeah, and that's a good move. I mean, our players are doing what they're supposed to. They were coming in to cover the ball and they New Covenant just happened to see that and take advantage of it. There you go. Can I give my first slam Do the jamma? It. Do it of the fall sporting I'm ready. season. Nice, nice play there. And this is Mallory Melton coming in now. For Addie Croston. So Mallory plays um, outside for us. And she's, you know, just a sophomore. And this is one of the heavier hitter jobs here because that's where that ball goes, where this, the setter set that a lot because it's the easy set to set so many times. Now these stats haven't been updated since the Forsyth tournament, but Melton with 24 kills so far early in the season and a 474 hitting average. Sounds pretty high to me. Rolling the numbers at you here. I'm no mathematician, but it sounds really good. Nice dig by Baylin. Dang it, I used it before you got to. <laughs> it's all good. Here's the Lady Warriors. They had to pass over. Keys. Gaston, good set to Sarah Mendel. That's one of the things when I heard Sarah Mendel was going to come out for volleyball, I was thinking, now that is someone that can attack the front of the net. And yeah. And get to see it right there in person. And she, you know, she's still figuring it out. You know, she hasn't played since middle school. But, I mean, she's an athlete. You know how that is. When you're an athlete, some things just come naturally to you that others have to work hard at. And, you know, timing is the thing and getting her arms up and going just a little bit faster with her feet. That's what we're working on. basketball, she's one of the most intimidating presences in the post, and I would imagine in volleyball, probably feared the same up there along the net, whether she's going to block or give the slam a jamma. Absolutely, especially after you see her hit a couple balls like that, you know? Sometimes you have those big kids and they're awkward and they can't really hit the ball yet, but they can always block, but she's got both going for her. All to Gaston, good job keeping it in play. Mendel so athletic. Just passes it across. All Gaston, pass up. Lauren will hit up in the back row, and it is blocked back over. And a point for the Lady Warriors here in the first set. And it is New Covenant 9, Ava 7. Back here serving is Mallory McBurney. There All we go. Hit goes towards the back row. Played back over across. All the gas to new. Mendel, nice little tip just over. Stayed, managed to avoid the net. You gotta look like, ooh. Well, that's not usually the up ref's call unless she's touching the top of the tape, which she didn't touch. Um, we've got our um, down official here shaking his head saying, no, I don't think that's what happened, and I don't think that's what happened either. So, so we don't get the point. We do so not I, get the point. I was late on the draw there. So once again, serving at the back line will be Mallory McBurney. 
Glad you're with us here on the FM 921, also streaming live at KKOZ.com. And also watching on TDHmedia.net here on this Tuesday evening of sporting action. Live from Avon, Missouri, and we're still talking and debating. <laughs> and do we have an overrule here, maybe? I don't think so. I think the upper ref is just trying to figure out what's going on with the sub. So we thought we had the point, so we already called for the sub, and she already went inside. Uh, Keely already subbed in, so we had to honor that sub for at least one play. So. Kaylin Stillings out there as well right now. And one thing I've learned here early in the season, uh, you know, we've kind of alluded to it earlier, very, very deep team. We uh, really do, yeah. Agreed, both on back front back. row and back row. That softball numbers here kind of playing in. A oh, little unorthodox there, keeping it up in play, and then a hit too close to the net. Yeah, and I wish this is what we need to work on that as our back row is them talking to her a little bit more because she was all the way on that SCA line right there, jumping up to get that ball, and it probably would have been out. Ball, pass to Mendel, little tip over. Didn't really hit into that one. Stillings passes it up high. Gaston runs to get it. Hall just has to send it over. Ooh, that Bears was haven't gross. really got to get in an attacking situation. And Mendel, that really wasn't even a ferocious hit by any means, but just putting a little extra pressure on the defense. Yeah, didn't even jump. Stayed on one foot the whole time. Yep. <laughs> but we also had come in some kind of ugly plays over here that they're sending over. So we'll see how strong the, the refs call all of us. Could you imagine getting to have that kind of vertical ability in the game of all? What are you talking? How do you know I don't? <laughs> How do you know I don't? I, I'm not sure I've seen either one of us flat foot hit <laughs> like that. We played a lot of volleyball together. We do play. Yes, yeah. I played a lot of volleyball last night. My knees. I already had to take some Tylenol. You got the old Monday night league. Yes. But, uh, I'm still getting my voice back from Arrowhead on Sunday. <laughs> And serve it over. It is now an 11-9 game. Lexi Gaston wins. She looks like a natural too at this. You know, she's oh, Lexi she hasn't played Absolutely. since her uh, junior high years either, and yep. uh, just seems again one of those natural athletes yep. that you talked about earlier. And uh, she really is, and she goes to the ball no matter what. And she there's very few times that she can't get to a ball to get a set up. So that's awesome for a setter. Oh. I tell you, New Covenant is doing a good job of yep. just putting it in the right spots here, working on all sides of the in-play section of the floor. That'll Nothing overpowering, nope. just picking the spot. And you know what? That, that'll that win a game. That won't, though. <laughs> this serve, thank goodness. Into the net. That'll be a side out here. And we'll send back Sarah Mendel to the serve line. Yep, and you got Hannah up there on the front row. So this is a pretty good rotation for us. Outside, outside. Gastonu, Acres back over to Stilling. Stilling sends it back deep. And there you go. One of those 50-50 ones where you're not sure if it's going to be in or out. And yep, and that's where, like, even if you're unsure, you still got to go 100% because that's what happens. You'll shank that ball every time. As a coach, do you pretty much let your players know if you have to think too hard about it, get it anyway? Yes. On the side of caution. Absolutely. I think that's just a common sensor. <laughs> There's a ACE ace for the Lady Bears. That'll draw us within one in the first set here. 13 new covenant. at 12. And another ace. Mendel sends it back there, and we're tied up at 13. Yeah, and watching her serve, she doesn't go back there and put a whole lot of power on it, but like you said, she's kind of intimidating to see serve, too, so hopefully that'll work for us. Nice one, goes back up high. New Kevin has to scramble. I believe a free ball, we call that. Yes. Anna Evans. You talk about an athlete, slam a jamma right there for okay. Hannah Evans. She is. She can jump out of a gym. We, and you've seen that in track season, I believe. Every yes. type of jumping that they have, I believe, yes. in the game of track gives the double thumbs up <laughs> over there. Yeah, she, and you know what? I, mean, I, I come in and help out with practice every once in a while when I can, and these girls are just a delight to work with. They're so fun. 
Hi. Tell me if this is a fair observation, because we are talking about a lot of girls on the team who haven't played at this stage of competition. Some of them three, four years. Right. I think the team you see right now wait about three, four weeks. And I think that, you know, the longer this season goes on, the more cohesive. I absolutely hope that's what happens. Because you, you've seen enough teams to know sometimes you start off at the beginning of the season, it's exciting and everything's good and then you get a little stale. So hoping that's how it, this momentum keeps up. We talk about this every time we do a game, but managing the emotions. Yep. In the ball ball game. The Lady Bears have a lot of momentum right now. Another spike. And Ava now with a 16-13 lead. Timeout on the floor here in the first set. At Signal, we strive to provide the lowest prices on gasoline diesel. We're also the home of ethanol-free premium fuel. Stop in today at your local hometown Signal food store and get your Signal rewards card. Start earning points on your fuel, coffee, and other purchases. Signal food stores, proud to be a supporter of local athletics. From tax help to payroll to counseling advice when it comes to dealing with your money. It's a conversation for Paul Wade and Associates, offices in Ava and in Gainesville. Paul Wade and Associates, your certified public accountants. Call us at 683-2319, 683-2319 for Paul Wade and Associates. We are here in the second set. Right now here in this volleyball action, right here on Cause Radio, best radio in the Ozarks. And there's one that is sent over, high up in the air. It is played by Gastineau. Gastineau over to Mallory Melton. And a nice job keeping it alive from the Warriors side. A block, but just a little bit over to the far side there. Yeah, yeah, Hannah didn't quite get her hands up and over the net to push that ball back over, so it kind of trickled in on our side. I call that the dribbler. I have to add that to my glossary. Yeah, go ahead and write it down. I'll let you borrow it. Here's Hall said to get back Ooh. over. One played off the net by Melton, and then just a little miscommunication, I suppose. Yep. You always got to... I try. I you know, when you talk about that, like you, you talk all the time in esports, but it's more about giving information about what's going on in the game instead of just talking. So we got to do better at that. Dang. All unable to play that one, and it goes back up over the goal. And Was this the, like that, the same server that started the game? I believe so. You don't and know. That would be Alice <laughs> Santovito. She's got a pretty, pretty wicked googly for a serve there. Googly. Googly. I like it. I feel like that's from a movie. And another point for the Lady Warriors. And volleyball such a game that goes on momentum. Absolutely. Ava, Ava had a nice swing of it there, but then just as fast, New Covenant has taken it right back. And yeah, so great timeout time out by Lindsay over there. Get her team back and regroup. I imagine she's got the family tuned in right now. Here is a play by the Warriors, tip across, Hall to Gastineau, and tried the okie doke as I like to call it, and that will end up being a point yes. for the Lady Bears. Yes, absolutely. So I'll tell you, we've got Baylin, um, Alexander going in for Kaylin Stillings, and then we've got uh, Addie Croston coming in for Mallory Melton. And Addie is going to actually come back here and serve for us. Hundred percent serving percentage on the year for she's, Addison Croston. Yeah, she's very uh, consistent. And this this is one of the rotations that last week when we were playing against whoever we were playing, <laughs> I can't remember. Hollister, right? Hollister. This was an excellent rotation for us. Addie serving Balins on the outside. We'll see what they can do here to keep us here. Anna Evans got a piece of it on the tip and didn't get the set where she needed it, but still able to capitalize. And that is another point for Lady Bears. So back and forth we go now here in the first set, 1917. Yeah, Crossing. it's kind of a weird game, huh? Just very consistent, it seems like. Has a nice delivery in there. New Covenant gets the side out. 
right back there with one of their outside hitters down the left side. Got Akers, Croston, Hall, Gastineau, Alexander, and Evans. Six Lady Bears on the floor right now. Ava up by one. Oh, I think that's, that's the high, girl. Very high arcing serve, and it is in there for a point. We're tied up at 19, and yeah, so that's my a, goodness, she throws it up to the ceiling. Yeah, so that's a big top spin serve. It's, there's different types of serve, and you'll see that serve. She tosses it, and it flips, and when she serves it, and it just, the bottom comes out of it and just drops in. Like a baseball pitcher throwing a sinker. Yep. Absolutely. And that's so, Coach Loach. Yeah, some of the serves are a big top spin like that and then a float serve, so where it doesn't look like the ball's moving at all and it'll kind of float on you. Timeout on the floor, New Covenant 20, Ava 19 per set. A funeral service is for someone you love and to honor their life, and yes, it is for those who remain. I'm Tony Clinking Bear Van Dyne, and at Clinking Bear Funeral Home, we've spent over 100 years serving your family with care. Our qualified and experienced staff will offer you compassionate and professional service in your time of need. A century of service, one family, four generations, and just one phone call can provide you the answers so much needed. 683-4115, and in Gainesville, 679-3315 for Clinky Bridge Funeral Home. It's frat night, if you didn't notice. Frat night. Seems a couple years early for that. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I'm all about spirit. Yeah, however you may show it. We have spirit, yes we do, here in the AHS gym. Top spin serve again. Croston does a good job of handling that one. Call comes and hits it from the back row on the new Covenant side, and it is unable to be blocked at the net. And the Warriors lead by two. And again, they were five and four coming into this. Lady Bears at four, three, and two. Three one, Croston just has to send it over. New Covenant a chance to attack. Hit one up, Hall passes to a teammate, Gaston who sets Hall on the back row. Lady Bears send it back middle. New Covenant plays it across. Lexi will set Akers. Akers yes. with a good hit. Nice diagonal spot there for Keely Akers. That one got you fired up. Oh yes, yeah. she's been working so hard to get that. Listen to the Ava students here pumping them up. That yes. one got you excited. Absolutely. You know, like she's one of those kids, we were in practice one day, and she stayed probably 15, 20 minutes after, and I just toss balls and toss balls for her to hit. And, you know, when they get successful like that in the game, you can't help but be excited for them, you know? Uh, and uh, she's such a sweet kid. Uh, a true, genuine smile that yeah. you displayed. Yes. Here is Keys in the back row, sends it back middle. Keys says a serve line, excuse me. And, ooh, that was a hot hit, and they call it in. Yeah, we got lucky there. Even if it wasn't in, I'm pretty sure we were in the net on that one. So, you know, it's a race to 25 now. 22-21, Lady Warriors up. <laughs> Paul has had a few miss hits in this one here along that back row. Yeah, our and serve receive is struggling tonight. Another timeout for the Lady Bears trying to salvage this first set. They trail 23-21. It's Jim's Body Shop of Ava. The name you know and the people you can trust when it comes to auto body repair services. Have you locked your keys in the car? Or maybe you need a tow? Well, we've got you covered anytime, day or night. Give us a call at 683 4609. That's 417 683 4609. It's Jim's Body Shop of Ava. We're there when you need us, and we're proud to support the Ava Bears. Missouri Ozarks Community Health has COVID 19 vaccinations available. To inquire or schedule an appointment, we will finish Monica's message about Missouri Ozarks Community Health at our next timeout as we're getting here to the nitty-gritty time. Oh, good timeout, Coach. And there we go. 
little stoppage in play there, take a minute break, yep. and get them out a little bit of that rhythm. Yep. One point game. It's a one point game. It's anybody's ball game right here. I played last night and I think we went we ended up losing thirty one to twenty nine. Ace. Just caught the right back spot on the corner there and we're all tied up at twenty. I thought you were gonna say just in time. <laughs> Let's go, Lauren. Service a couple more. There's a good one down the back middle. That's got to be out, and it is. O-U-T, out. There we go. We put up the hands. Pulling out all the stops over here. One point to go. Lady Berry's a very hard-fought first set. Trying nice to get serve. the win. New Covenant up here front right. There's a block, and Alexander tried to get to it, but could not. So we're tied up at 24, and got to win by two. Got to win by two. So we need to get this first ball back right here. This is Mia Good. Ellers serving for the Lady Warriors. Gaston has to run a long way to get to it. Hall just has to get it across, and just barely does from way back on our side of the court. Aylin's doing a great job on defense. Tip over, New Covenant with it now. Towards the net, Gaston a pass to Mendel. Over to Sam Keyes, plays it over. Still tied at 24. Nice, nice. dig. Great Sorry, I Keyes. keep taking your dig. Take it over, and it's Sarah Mendel with a little forearm. We call that a tip to the campfire. So you can go, ooh. Oh. Yeah. I Here think we I've go. heard you drop that one. Yes. Uh, we got Mallory Melton coming back in for Addison uh, Crossan. That's so weird for me to call her Addison. I always call her Addie. And Baylin serving. We just need one point. So we want her to serve that ball just over and in. Nothing special on it. Just get it over and in. And okay. she does. Puts a little bit of RPMs on that. There and you go. Out of position and the Ava Lady Bears will take this first set by a score of 26-24. Back with set number two next. You're listening to Cons Radio, best radio in the Ozarks. Appointment at the Ava Clinic. You can call 683-5739. That's 683-5739. And the AVA Clinic is open Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 5.30, and on Saturdays, 8 a.m. to noon. That's Missouri Ozarks Community Health. MS Propane, providing you with quality propane services, including the best customer support, guaranteed gas year-round, and competitive pricing for both commercial and residential. At MS Propane, our mission is to be your propane suppliers for life. Locally owned and operated, MS Propane is the hometown company you can trust for safe, reliable, clean, and affordable propane services. Serving most of cause country with locations in Ava, Fairgrove, Rogersville, and Kimberling City. MS Propane. Quality, excellence, reliability. It's Ava Building Supply, your one-stop shop for all your home improvement and hardware supplies. Offering a huge selection of interior and exterior paints, plumbing, heating, and electrical supplies, power tools, lawn and garden products, and much, much more. Our staff has the experience and knowledge to answer any of your questions about our products or your home improvement needs. A wish of good luck to the Ava Sports from Kenny Klaus and the gang at Ava Building Supply. Mansfield Home Centers, where we stop to shop. Hey guys, this is J.D. Chadwell with Town & Country Bank. NMLS. 1736546. Are you hunting for that perfect piece of land or need financing? Town and Country Bank can make it happen. Whether it's a deer stand or a cozy cabin or a plot of land next to the creek, you could be enjoying that recreational property that you've always wanted. Contact me at Town and Country Bank and find out how to begin living your dream. Town and Country Bank, smart, friendly solutions. Member FDIC equal housing lender. Ava R1 School District puts out this message. The next ACT date is Saturday, October 23rd. The deadline to register without late fees is September 17th. If you are on free or reduced lunch, you may pick up a free waiver in the counselor's office. 
to register, go to act.org. Again, the deadline to register for the next ACT date is September 17th. You've changed thousands of diapers, cut off hundreds of crust, played hours of peekaboo, and duck duck goose because you do anything for your kids. That's why it is so important to protect them with life insurance from State Farm. State Farm agent David Cody will help make it easy and affordable to help you protect your family, no matter what the future holds. Because for the people you do anything for, life insurance could mean everything. Call State Farm agent David Cody in Ava at 683-4141. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And we're back here as we begin the second set. I'll be honest, I was staring at the computer, Sarah. What happened? Addie served it for us, and she served it a little long, so that would probably be her first miss serve of the season. That was the announcer's jinx. I'll take the fault for that. You should. Whew. That one had some smoke on it. That one did have some smoke on it. That's a heck of a serve. Look at this defense. Here we go. Dang it. Almost. Yep. The play off there. And, and heavens, if I'm not mistaken, is this just her second year playing? Hannah. Yes. Now, she came to us from Willow Springs, so she might have played over there, too. So, there we go. There's the point in the side out for Lady Bears. And Ava, boy, you know, trailed probably for a majority of that first set. She really did. Uh, did a nice job, though, when they had to have it. Yeah, and Coach Lord showed set. me in between games, she said their goal was to keep her to one serve instead of six or seven like she had that first set. So, hey, goal, goal made right there on the first time, first round. So, can't hate that. We've got Keith. Although she helped us a little bit. Yeah. She did serve it in the net. Very much so. We'll always take that. Never apologize for it. And mm. Keith, who may have been out, but New Covenant plays it. Paul. The gas to new Evans with a hard hit, but a nice dig by the back row of the Lady Warriors, and that one's got to be long, and it is. And we'll take the point. A little too high, and thankfully none of our back row people went for it either. Always helps out. It does. Here's Keith, sends it back middle. Got Lexi Gastineau, Hannah Evans, Balin Alexander, Addie Crofton, Lauren Hall, Sam Keyes. Six Lady Bears on the floor. Evans pass over to Gastineau. She'll bump it back to Keyes. Keyes sends it over. Hall digs it from back middle over to Alexander. Oh. Oh, what was that? Campfire. Campfire. Right. So it looks like uh, we call it campfire because everybody goes around the ball and they're just standing there watching the ball and it just drops oh, in the middle. Like you're, like okay. you're at a camp. Oh. I've got the visual. Ace. And we painted the picture for the rest of you listening as well. And there is an ACE. Yes. Five to the score. I can't wait for the next benefit volleyball tournament. <laughs> I can call campfire out. <laughs> Here we go. 5-2. Oh, wow. Great hop oh. by Alexander. She was kind of caught in midair. Yes. Able to somehow quickly bounce back up off the floor to tip it up in the air, but we couldn't get rallied to it. Campfire. Campfire. I love that. 5-3. Ava on top. We're in the second. There you go. Is that campfire or is that just a quick open? That's it. That's it. That, you can call that a campfire, too. They were all still around there. See? Campfire, we're learning terminology. Yes, we're adding to the yes. list. Trying to get Lexi's attention to say awesome job. That's something they worked on just a couple weeks ago, working on her. Yeah. Sarah Mendel. That's what? called No Chance. No Chance. <laughs> I like it. That was a good block by Sarah right there. She's, you know, oh, she's working on, yes, getting in front of the hitter's arm and watching that ball. And whenever she can do that, she's unstoppable. Lauren Hall passed it up to herself. Didn't like that. Does it again. Sends it to the back left. Ava leading 7-3 here. Lauren, good job passing. Oh, my God. Beautiful set. Oh, 
there we go. Now that is a little good of uh, fundamental volleyball yes. right there. You had the and great that, dig, the great pass. Oh, all of it. And, it. and they make it look so easy. You know, like those first couple points in the first set. And here and there through the set, we look like we were struggling. And now we're getting into that rhythm. The bump, the set, the spike. Yep. All the perfection. And the Lady Bears have some momentum now. Yes. 9-3. Yes. And... Here we go. Right on cue, timeout, new covenant. Lady Bears extend the lead here in the second set to 9-3. The edge of technologies at Emerson Climate Technologies of Ava. Our students at the edge of a new life. Emerson Climate Technologies saluting our young people in their athletic competitions and reminding them when you finish with your career, come to work for us on the edge of technology at Ava's Emerson Climate Technologies. Whether it's personal injury, car accidents, criminal defense, and no matter if the case is large or small, Christopher J. Swadish, attorney at law, would be honored to represent you. You can visit with the AVA office, 200 East Washington, or you can call 683-2987, or even visit the website, www.swadish.com. And from all of us at the law offices of Christopher J. Swadish, we want to wish good luck to the AVA Bears. Nine to three is where we're at here in this second set. We're having fun courtside here at the Ava High School Gymnasium. Little volleyball action for you there. Boy, both coaches have used timeouts at the perfect moments of the game so far. Very effectively. I think and each team, when they've used a timeout, has gotten a side out. Got the ball time. back, yep. Absolutely. We'll see what we can do with it here. I think we had another big jump server here, yep. Good pass. Ooh, it's a little side. Mendel close to the net. New Covenant sends it back over. Alexander will tip it back deep. Lady Warriors, a bit of miscommunication there on who was going. Mendel, wow, blocked there. Didn't really get to get a lot of force into that one. Oop. Off the net, Alexander plays it. Gastineau sends it back row. Lauren Hall with yes. a hit over. That was part of talking Lauren into being able to be that libero is convincing her that she's going to get those swings still on the on the back row and be able to be a successful hitter. Because coming from a person who done one thing outside hitting there for three years yep. and senior year for the good of the team. Yes, absolutely. Around, there's one goes off the ceiling. New Covenant still able to play it and they end up getting the point. Yep. Hard earn point there from the Lady Warriors. Absolutely, I'd like to see us. You know, we're we're very we're doing really good things over here, but I'd like to see us bring up our level of talking, people calling the ball in and out and things like that. I like to hear it yelled out. In sports, you can't communicate enough. Nope. I feel like. Nope. That, that one goes too deep. Takes everybody. So we really need to stop here. This is what point three for her to serve, I believe. Yep, this is uh, three points in a row here. It was 9-3, then the timeout occurred, and momentum starting to swing back Lady Warriors. There you go. Sarah Mendel says, I'll take your momentum and yep. slam it down on your side <laughs> right in front of your feet. Absolutely. We've got Mallory Mountain come back in for Addie Croston, play the front row. Okay. And this is that rotation, flip-flop, but we, it's really good for us when Baylin's outside. And then when Baylin's serving and Mallory's outside, it's just a good rotation. Two solid rotations for us. I'll tell you who probably isn't thrilled that Ava moved softball to spring. Everyone on the SCA schedule <laughs> yeah. volleyball here. As, uh, you're seeing Mendel and Gaston. Oh, these absolutely. That, uh, well, same goes for softball because we weren't able yeah. to compete for the SCA in, in softball anymore because there wasn't enough teams playing. So, you know. Really just going to work out all the way around, I think. Uh, I believe so. Out. I In believe theory, so. anyway. We shall see. 12-6. Ava has stymied the Lady Warrior attack here. Over the last couple of points. And Alexander into the net. Kaylin Stillings about to check back in. Ava, 5 for 12. It's a very, uh, you know... Veteran ball club though, a lot of a lot of seniors and juniors out there. Yes. 
Really outside of Melton, that's the only sophomore that really sees a whole lot of playing time. Right. Here at the varsity level this year, and that one unable to be handled by our back row, and it's went from 12-6 to 12-8. The momentum swings in volleyball. Yeah. Back and forth. Well, and ooh, that once again, I mean, we didn't hear those back row players calling that ball out for Kaylin so that she wouldn't reach out over for that. So, you know. Need more tucking. Need more tucking. Stilling does a good job diving to keep that one up in the air. And then the vacated area back left side yep i think she caught us a couple times in that first set doing that um i think she's their setter right now number three i think they're running a 5-1 and she just jumps up there and hits that ball and it's a great option to have lady warriors have really yep. done a pretty good job with their positional hitting and they do it again right there yep really kind of working on that corner our setter's corner and we don't have anybody really there playing defense right now. And Coach Lode sees it. She'll call a timeout just like that. It's a one-point game here in the second set. Got some property to take yes. care of? Let Kubota help you out. Known worldwide as a leading seller of compact tractors and diesel utility vehicles, Kubota has the equipment to help get your work done. With a variety of tractors and a range of horsepower options, Kubota delivers the efficiency, power, and comfort to handle light construction, landscape work, and chores on the farm. Take on your toughest jobs with a Kubota. See your local dealer today. Get your next tractor at Edgler and Harper Farm Equipment located in Mountain Grove. Hi, this is Colton Hall, loan officer for Home Pride Bank. Are you looking for a better banking experience? Ever consider a bank that's been putting their customers first since 1892? Our history is rooted in commitment to both our customers and the communities we serve. We are open Monday through Friday, 8.30 to 4.30, and on Saturday, 8.30 to noon. We also offer mobile banking for those who like managing finances on their own time. Stop in or call us at 417-683-3211 and discover what better banking is all about. Well, let's hope that the Ava timeout here will benefit us as the uh, timeouts have played a big role in this game so far when it comes to halting momentum, and that's going for both sides right now. And there's one into the net right on cue. The, uh, the coaches have done a good job kind of feeling the game run. Absolutely. When to push those right buttons of trying to halt momentum. We've got Keeley back in there. Keeley Akers coming in for Sam off the back row. And Lexi's going to serve for us. See if she keeps this in. And, oh, bullet. There you go. That's a good job, and that's why... The young sophomore out there on the floor because of good court awareness stuff like that. Yes. She's very consistent. And especially for a sophomore. You know, she's super consistent. Lexi with a nice serve over to the back left. Tipped over. Lexi plays it up in the air. Mendel had to back up a little bit for it, but she couldn't play. Nice job diving by Hall to keep it alive. And Mendel just a little too much arm strength on that one. Yeah, she gets a little too comfortable just standing there and swinging instead of, you know, even if she would just gather and kind of a little hop and jump, it would have a little bit more downward force on that ball. You really have to like snap that wrist to try to get that. It absolutely in. helps, you know, that whole thing where I tell them, practice, put some coins on your elbow and just work on trying to catch them, you know, to work on that little snappy snap. Whoa, and right there, Sarah Mendel goes all out diving, trying to keep it alive and in play. And we're tied up at 14. Been a really competitive game here. Yes. Thus far. That one goes way too far out. Let's see how Sarah gets it going for us. Last game, she got it go. This is that rotation she got it going for. She served about, I don't know, six or seven points right off the bat. Lauren Hall gets a breather. Hannah Evans comes in for her. Mendel, the dig on the back row. Gaskin sets up Melton. She's blocked and can't keep it up and alive. Just and struggling a little bit here and there. We just got to kind of clean up our defense, it looks like to me. And that serve received. 15-15. This is 
Alice Santavito once again back, and she will go into the net. And easiest points you can uh, steal right there. Absolutely. You got this sub, or you want me to? We got Balin Alexander coming on for Kaylin Stillings coming in on the front row, and then we got Addie Costin coming in for Mallory. So this is one of those other flip flops with our outsides. That's a good rotation for us. Balin's so consistent and got a little bit more power power than Mallory does probably out there. You know, you're kind of a natural at this. <laughs> I watch. I watch a lot of volleyball and I listen to a lot You're of comedy. You were during the Olympics, weren't you? I was. I watched You're a lot like, of. I know I've got to work on some things. Yeah. All volleyball ratings. It's was coming. Up. It's coming. I practiced with a headset and everything. It was great. 16-16. <laughs> and here we got the high top spinner again, and she has gotten an ace, I think, every time she's I, been back there. It's a great serve. It's killer. You know. And she's also their setter, so she's that one that's when she's up there on right side, she's just going up and just hitting the ball oh. across her body. That was a float serve as you... Tried to, tried to sneak one by us there, yep. and there, Ava Lady Bears did a good job playing it back over and getting the point. Yep, absolutely. That's the first time she really showed that, so is that just kind of a timing thing, trying um, to catch us off guard a bit? I think she or? might have snuck one in earlier, but yeah, just that's awesome as a as a server that she's able, she's got an awesome topspin serve and a great float serve, so lots of different things that she can do back there. When you throw it up that high, you've got to have pretty good placement of where you hit the ball. Yes, and timing. Timing, timing, timing. So you'll see a lot of uh, jump topspin serves in the men's game. Not always so much in like the, the women's game. You'll see some every once in a while. So it, that's a phenomenal serve. Lady Warriors up by one and serving. Croston, Gastineau, back to Croston. Addie plays it over. Pass over to Lady Bear's side. Hall to Gastineau, tried the okie doke, quick one over. Hall, Gastineau will set up Alexander, one hit up high off the ceiling, they're able to keep it in play, he saves it, Lauren Hall hits it back across, and we got a little volley going here. Heck yeah we do. And what do we got, what's the call? Called it, uh, number three was in the net, is what he, what old Greg is saying out there, I don't know if you've heard of old Greg. Old Greg, <laughs> well he... If you've been to a volleyball game in the last decade, chances are you have He's seen this man officiate. And he is just a swell feller. Gave me my Highlands ice cream free coupon. Always has a couple of those in his pocket. Remember the first time I set up the radio gear before a game and he was in here mm -hmm. and he had the biggest smile saying how cool that was. Yep. Getting ready to do that. Ava leading 19-18, but the lead short-lived as we're tied up once again. And got a largest lead for either team here in the two sets so far was Ava's 9-3 lead early, but that was short-lived. Yeah. It's pretty back and forth. Yep, absolutely. Well. Just like to keep it close and interesting. There's one end of the net, another free point for the Lady Bears. And with them up. In a game of just one or two points, and when you're going over 25, that uh, couple into the net can really be the difference. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And then it's just, you know, we've been talking about momentum the whole time. It's such a momentum breaker when you've worked so hard to get that serve and then serve it out or serve it in the net. Here, whoa, that was a hard hit. Lauren yep. Hall did a good job kind of just playing self-defense and keeping it alive, but... What was the call there? Oh, um, our up left here didn't really like the, the set that Sam threw up. And, you know, honestly, I thought that looked pretty good. I've seen a lot worse coming over from both sides. But, you know, that, that stinks. Could be a crucial call in the game. We're tied Absolutely. up at 20. Melton sends it back. Lady Warriors got some work to do to keep it in play. Santavino up at oh. Lexi. Oh, man. Set it up where her team was supposed to be, but the only problem was our two girls collided on the diving attempt to keep the previous hit alive. And so it goes down there. 
Gets new to Melton. Tip over and good placement there by the young sophomore to get it to serve the seat back. 21-21. Keeley Akers in. Destiny. Yeah. Stillings. Sorry. Melton, Akers, Ben. Hey, take, I love it. I, was I try to take my head out of it, but I can't because I'm like, yeah, she's got one time out just in case she needs it. Lauren Hall with the dig. That's, Ooh, that's tight. Mendel close to the net, and Sarah does a good job of kind of a balancing act there, yep. making sure she doesn't go into the net. Right, and that's where that height and those length of those arms come in so uh, handy that her contact point is so much higher than everybody else's. can't long arms no. and uh, the height that Sarah Mendel has. Oh. Mendel almost got a block right there, just kind of sure mistimed her jump just a little bit. All sends it back over deep metal. Ava, 22-21 here in the second. And the block goes over to the side, out of bounds on us, and we're tied at 22. So that's what we're working with on her, with her flopsy-mopsy hands there. She's got working on those shoulders and those hands up and pressing over the net and staying over that net and not let that ball push her around. The first set was Ava 26, New Covenant 24. So yeah, this has just been a very competitive game. And Stillings digs it, but it goes across in the area vacated and yep. New Covenant with the opportunity here. And Coach Loge will take a timeout. Trying to halt the momentum of New Covenant. They lead 23-22 in the second. See Juju works on this one. There we go. If you're looking for ways to save, we got discounts every day. It's a big pack. Meat sale, bone in pork. Sirloin roast, dollar thirty-nine per pound. Fryer chicken leg quarters, ten pound package, five ninety each. Town and country supermarket, Ava's grocery store, and a whole lot more. We got discounts every day. It's Miller Lawn Care in Ava. They can take care of your commercial and residential needs from mowing your grass to trimming the hedges and more. Our fast, reliable, and experienced team can help your lawn look its best. Call Doug today at 543-2294. That's 543-2294. Here we go, Lady Bears trying to get the serve back, and I think it went too far. <laughs> Excuse me, Coach Loge, hoping for it, thinking it was in. Yep, she's hoping for that touch off the block. I didn't really see it either, but, you know. And that's big because now it puts New Covenant 24, Ava 22. Hope you packed your pillow and your blankie. We're going to be here for a minute. <laughs> Dig in, ladies and gentlemen. We may be here a while. Not that I don't have faith, but we got, I mean, it's, it's do or die time right here. Uh, literally have to get the side out right here. Yes. Akers to Gastineau, back to Keeley, and she was blocked. And New Covenant takes the second. 25-22, timeout on the floor. We'll be back with Set three after a word from our all sports boosters. Hi folks, this is Jay Loveland at Jay Loveland Auto Sales. And I'd like to invite you all to our new setup in Mountain Grove. We have a great inventory of affordable cars, trucks, and SUVs conveniently located right next to Walmart and Burger King. Find us also online at jlovelandautosales.com or 417-349-4444. And remember, at J. Loveland Auto Sales, we always do the right thing. Missouri Ozarks Community Health is open with regular hours at our clinics found in Ava and Gainesville, in Mansfield, Mountain Grove, Kabul, and Houston. Missouri Ozarks Community Health, providing primary medical care behavioral health care, and yes, Missouri Ozarks Community Health provides emergency and urgent dental care. So call us at 683-5739, 683-5739 to schedule an appointment at Missouri Ozarks Community Health in Ava, Gainesville, Mansfield, Mountain Grove, Kabul, and in Houston. 
saying goodbye to a loved one. You wanted to be special, wrapped in care and provide comfort to those who remain. I'm Tony Clinking Bear Van Dyne, and at Clinking Bear Funeral Home, we've been helping those we know and love say goodbye with honor and dignity for over 100 years. We are here to serve you and your family. Ava R1 School District puts out this message. The next ACT date is Saturday, October 23rd. The deadline to register without late fees is September 17th. If you are on free or reduced lunch, you may pick up a free waiver in the counselor's office. To register, go to act.org. Again, the deadline to register for the next ACT date is September 17th. Looky there, popcorn in the house. We are getting ready to start set three, so it's been two very, very close even games here. What's what's the biggest thing we can do to help us through the biggest adjustment that you can see? I think we need to be more consistent. We're, we're kind of ri riding this roller coaster right now. And when we sit back and we play our game, it's hard to beat us, you know. That's when, you know, we saw New Covenant call that timeout, time and it kind of switched our gears a little bit. But when we are confident and we're playing even, they're not going to beat us. So we got to get to that level. We're playing that all 25 points, not just five here, five there, three here, two there. Uh, we've so. had, uh, in both sets, we've had a couple of stretches where we rattled off four and five points. Yeah. And, uh, it's in there. I'm out in the 60 second break yep. though, and that seems to just slow us down enough. Yep. But th thankfully, it does the same to them too right now. So, and you know, I guess that's part of just being at the beginning of the season still. We don't have that, oh, I don't know, consistency not built even, up. Not even three full weeks into the season. No. Here's Alexander as we get started here in the third. This one close to oh. the net. Evans unable to get it up over across can only hit it once. Yeah, she looks... <laughs> she, so she's so confused by of, that. But she had a look of bewilderment. You know what's really funny? I did the exact same play last night, but I knew exactly what had happened. If she would have went up with two hands and it would have looked like a block, she might have had a, you know, a bit in there for that. You but can do that when you block it. Yeah, you so you it. can block it with two hands as long as they touch it or if somebody's there to look like they might block and then you can play it up. Gastonu to Evans, and that was just a high IQ play right there. Dribbler. It'll work almost every time. It's just hard to read and get to, you know? Got Sam Keys coming in to serve for Keeley Acres. Frat night, the student section. Absolutely. So, that is uh, not what you want to see happen. Uh, and you know, I'm not really sure what has happened since our last home game that Keeley's not serving, so maybe we'll see her in here in a little bit to serve for Sam. Couple, couple. She's got a really good, you know, that softball arm, strong serve. Three to one. Lady Warrior up. That one's got to be <laughs> out, I would think, and we played it. And there you go. Once again, we're not, ha we're not talking on that back row. Like, we should be able to hear them yelling in or out over yeah. here. Uh, the, the communication definitely seems to need some improvement right now. Lauren Hall, the bump. Gastineau to Balin Alexander. Good home Oh, she got lucky. She happened to be there at the right spot. Sometimes better to be lucky than good. And the uh, late Warriors have had a number of fortuitous bounces here in this second and third set. One set apiece here as we are in the third. But remember, and I think this is a two-year-old rule now, I believe, the five, five best of five. Yes, and oh, wow. it's, a, it's a doozy. I bet you don't miss traveling to Salem on a Tuesday. <laughs> no. Uh, for a best of five. Absolutely match. not. Oh, oh, boy, again. New Covenant not overpowering, but they are hitting yeah. very intelligent 
with their directional hitting. So that may look like that's way open, but that's how the, de the defense is designed, so that they have to hit over Lexi. We give them that line to, to serve. Ooh, stay in. Wow, that little the fire drill there to keep it live and in play. Lexi Gaston is just an instinct. There we go. Reaction hit, and there a nice hit by the Lady Bears, and a much needed side out. Absolutely, and just watching Baylin with her approach, oh my God, it's just beautiful. You can watch her go back there and really stretch back and just unload on that ball. It's uh, awesome. Her form has seemed to have gotten better year after yes. year, which is what you'd hope for and expect there at someone who's now yep. a senior. Right and there. she's another one of those players that's been moved, you know. Freshman through junior year, she's been a middle, you know, and now she's playing outside, and I think it suits her way better. Strategically speaking, what's the big difference there from coming just aside from where you're lined up from a middle to an outside player? It's faster. You know, when you're in the middle, uh, it's a no touch. Sorry. Um, <laughs> you got into that one. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> so that set primarily that we set to the outside is a high loopy set where that set in the middle is just straight up. It's not, you don't have quite as much time to get to the ball. So I think it's really benefited her approach a lot. Four to seven. Man, it doesn't feel like it's four to seven. It felt like we got a couple points rattled off there and it should be a little bit closer than that. And the third set's been primarily in control by the Lady Warriors. First two sets, real, real close and back and forth. And boy, again, the communication. We've had a number of instances where we've kind of collided in with one another. Yep, yeah. as long as the ball's up. We'll take that. Absolutely, the block there attempted by Lily Auer and sends it over into the uh, Rat House Row student <laughs> section. <laughs> Over there up top. <laughs> Into the animal house. Uh, I don't see a Belushi over there. We're about <laughs> a Belushi short, but probably don't need that at the high probably, school level. Probably not. I don't think Miss Nash would approve, approve of that. No, ma'am. Here is Melton. There's a hit over back middle. And sends it up over. And yes. that. And so creeping back, creeping back, and yep. now just a one-point game. Yeah, we try to teach volleyball players just focus on those five-point increments, you know, get the get to five. Now work on getting to, to ten. Don't worry so much about their score, and it really helps to slow the game down. And now here we are, seven all. Now it's a race to three, so we shall see. Try to shorten the game up a yep. little bit. I like, I like that, like the thought process there. I wish it was mine. Here's a... Uh, Oh, dang it. Oh. Whew. And Whew. that unfortunately. I thought that was one of us in the net, oh, <laughs> and I, it was not. I literally said unfortunately because it looked like we were. Yeah, I it really did. The, uh, the whistle there. Whew. We need those, those calls every now and then. Absolutely. And follow it up with an ace. Ace, 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 ace. Balen put some RPMs behind that. Just a pretty good all-around player, Baylin Alexander's turned into. She really has been, and I think moving her to the outside has helped that. And another A-C-E-H, double stomp on that. And timeout on the floor. We're stomping, because we're scoring. Ava's rattled off six points in a row. They lead here in the third, 10-7. Are you getting a stiff neck staring at your computer all day? Well, come into Ozark's Family Vision Center and let us fit you in some software design progressive lenses. They allow you to keep your head in a more natural position while working at your desk. Call us at 683-3612 for an appointment. And remember, at Ozark's Family Vision Center, we're dedicating our lives to your eyes. Hello, Bear fans. This is Garrett Chapman at Century Bank of the Ozarks. At Century Bank, we are a true community bank for your way of life. Since 1894, Century Bank of the Ozarks has maintained its reputation of friendly service and quick local decision making. Stop in and let our friendly staff introduce you to our outstanding banking products and services. Banking decisions made at the local level right here at home. That's Century Bank of the Ozarks, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Volleyball 
Such a game of momentum. Right now the momentum with the Lady Bears and Balin Alexander providing a lot of it. She's done some oh! Sarah Mendel says, not in my area, Coach. No, don't give me any more of that tipping. That was awesome. <laughs> I would love to do that one time. <laughs> oh, man. I know that. You talk about getting the adrenaline going. If I was able to jump and just what one like that, my goodness, she attacked it. We're getting real excited over here. Hey, that, that, that'll fire you up. I don't care who you are. And that one, we kind of seen it happening there. That one just beautifully placed. Yes. Right in Sarah. See that big smile? You don't see that very often from no. her. She's pretty chill the whole time through. Oh, that was an ugly set. That one got right up there in the wheelhouse for Give it now to her. feeling it, and she towers again. Sarah Mendel rattled off a few in a row. Yep. And this is one of the best stretches we've had all night, yep. Sarah. This is what I like to call feed the monkey. Keep giving her the ball till she starts kind of struggling and then mix it back up. But right now she's hot. Yeah, oh, just a little deep on that serve by Baylin. But what a run. That right there really just flipped the script. Yep. And, uh, nice job, Baylin. Had a moment there where we were down. Yeah. Six to two. Yeah. And have down 7-4 and now lead by five here at 13-8 mark. And so with your theory there, Sarah, trying to get to 15 yep. here first. Rattle Absolutely. Off quick yes, we're trying to get to 15 while they're still trying to get to 10, you know? There we go. Sarah Mendel, keep feeding the, the beast. Yeah. Oh, the, beast, the beast probably sounds a lot more intimidating <laughs> than the monkey, but, you know. I do teach high school, so it is me. <laughs> Acceptable. We'll allow it 14 to 8. Got Lexi going back there to serve for us, so she usually is pretty good for a one or two. That looks Lexi, good. Nice directional one, and they play it up off the basketball goal, and another point there, and it's now 15 to 8. You know, and you think that looks so easy to receive that ball off of the ceiling or off the basketball goal like that, but it's so not. Uh, it just throws everything off. You can take your best educated guess how it's going to come off that oh, ceiling. Oh, absolutely. But, uh, it is just a guess. Yep. At the end of it. So we've got right now Lexi Gastonu, Stillings, Hall, Melton, Akers, and Mendel. Sarah Mendel's having a great, great third set. And wow. Credit the back row player for New Covenant literally fell down out of the way to avoid hitting the ball and it goes out. Yeah. Dang it. <laughs> that was that was impressive. That was like the matrix right there of avoiding the volleyball. There we go, hit. Keely. And little Keely Akers gets fired up. And she's such an athletic player. You know, we talk about these girls that are athletic, but I've seen her dig balls, and I'm like, how'd she get a touch on that? This one high up oh. the net, and just a perfectly placed tip. I'd really Lady like Warrior. to see us get some hands on that setter dump so she'd stop doing that. <laughs> 16 to 10. We are tied at one set apiece. We are here in the third of this best of five. Running jump serve hit. Nice job by the sophomore playing it. High up in the air. We're enough room for her teammates to get to it, but then we put it in the net. 16 to 11 now. I'd really like to see us get out of this serve receive and keep our lead or just a little bit of it and yeah, not let him sneak in. Alice Santana. There we go. And there, just as I was getting ready to brag on her, puts one into the net. Yeah. She's becoming a little bit more inconsistent as the game's gone because I think she had a couple miss serves in that last set. So, you know, it's kind of how playing three out of five wears on you. That's a lot. Uh, 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 you literally set me up right for this next point. Oh, you're welcome. going to be conditioning. Yes. Kind of a game changer when you go from playing three potential ones to five. Yep. Because it absolutely is. In theory, you could be just middle of the way through the match right now. And there is going to be a point for yep. what happened there. It's we were in the net. Baylin was in the net. We had Hannah and Baylin both going up for that set. And it was just it's a scotch too tight, if you will. So here we are. Just a scotch. 
17 to 12, and here is the high top spin like serve. And I'm telling you, this girl has gotten a point every time she's been back there. Ava Lady Bears keep it in play. Oh, a little miss hit yeah. there, and it is a point. And we just, just need, need to, to clean up a yep. little bit of those fundamental type stuff yep. there along the back. Move our feet a little bit more. You can't ever move your feet enough to get a good handle Seen on the ball. a little too much this uh, trying from the side. Mm -hmm. Bumping. Ooh. There's Crossin. Hitting it over and across. There's there a good go. block. I think Evans got the most of it. Alexander was there too. I believe so. Gaston was set up. Beautiful set. Balen and That's her it set. is. Oh, oh good. my How goodness! How that out? <laughs> that was just about an incredible. That was rally. You seen uh, Acres there and Coach Loge kind of laugh because yes. uh, Keeley was running for it. Oh yeah. Coach Loge right there yelling out. Yes. We no well, you teach the kiddos there. to take it to the line and stop at that line so you know the ball's out. There you go, see that arm of Keeley. And that's what we want to see, them having to play deep like that because then that means they can't run anything off of the front row if they're receiving the serve and it's still going back when they receive it instead of forward. So get this point to 20 right now. There you go. Okay, that's a good top spin action on that one. Yeah! Block Hannah Evans. Back over on the Warriors side. A little bit of confusion. There you go. And a point. I tell you what. Oh, no. Four hits. Oh, he called Hannah called. in the net. And oh, my gosh. I did not believe that was true. But. Man. Ava, 26 for 23. Tough call. Hopefully that's not a deal breaker for us like the last tough call and the other set was, you know? Yeah, they're in the second set. Had one of those 50-50 ones go against us and it Good pass. really kind of set There we go. Hard. Almost got it. Ooh, that was gross. Thank you. Well, we got a little bit of a lift there. Yes. So you see him hold two hands up and the, the really sign, like the telltale sign is whenever somebody overhand sets it and it's spinning. That's a, just a classic whistle blow right there. Here's Lady Warriors. Tip it up over across. Alexander over and in the net, but we keep it back up alive. Gastineau back to Balin. Tries it again. And the score. Yeah, that's a, a classic example there that hey, you guys got to keep playing to the whistle blows because New Covenant kind of stopped playing right there because they didn't think they touched the ball on the block, and you know the official didn't call the the whistle. Ooh. Good piece of hitting there, and it was kind of in between Croxton and Hall. And see, and that that's designed like that. We've got Sarah right there. They're on the outside of her, so we're hoping she takes that away. So, I mean, you can only cover so much court. So some of it we got to take away with our block. Here, putting you on the spot. What are the dimensions over there? How much room you got to work with? I think it's 26 feet. Okay. Oh. Oh man. Good effort. I believe by the, lady. the net's about seven four. I believe so. Seven four. Yeah. A long way from me. <laughs> no, -uh, I've seen your hops. Oh, you're being too kind. Are you saying you'd be a libero? That would probably, yeah, if that's a utility player, that would probably, I'm the person that dives on the floor recklessly. Oh, absolutely you are. I've seen it. Here we go. We got Balin serving again. Then about bruises for a week yeah. after. All the dig. Gaston will give it back to Hall in that back row. Sends it back over. Ava's up 22-15 here, trying to close out the third set. And Mendel had the block, but it landed on the other side out of bounds. Yep. But here we've got this little bit of a cushion of a lead, so it's not detrimental when we lose a point like that. We just got to win this side, this side out and then get another point or two and then keep going. Truly for either team, the most breathing room that there it's we had go. here. And there it goes out. And it's 23-16 now. As we are trying to win the third set. Got Keeley Akers coming back in. Sam Keys is coming out, so... Lexi's serving for us again. We just need, we can get her to get at least one point. 
That's what we're trying for. Whoops. A little too much arm. Now this is where we got to not get nervous and not get inconsistent and get the ball right back. We got to win that serve and pass game. This is where you're trying not to let the nerves into your head. And that certainly helps when they hit it into the net. Yeah, that's two missed serves from them. So, I mean, that, that, that. volleyball is essentially a serve and pass game. Either you're serving well, you're going to win, and you're passing well, you're going to win. If you're not doing either one of those well, mm -mm, it's not going to work out. All right, here is hit towards the back row. Mendel, Gastineau, Ooh. Stillings, and it is blocked. And that will be a point for the Lady Warriors. And so now here comes, okay, how did you pronounce her name? Alice. Alice Santa She's gotten Vita. a little inconsistent here in the later parts of the match, so we'll see what she's got. Now, no one knows that at home. Huh? No one knows that at home. <laughs> <laughs> calling me out. <laughs> oh, Hall. The Gaston is oh. Akers and just had a mistip right there. Yep. Didn't. Didn't hit it clean, just trying to get it up over across. Yeah, I think she just, you know, second guesses herself and went with the safe bet and tried to tip it over, and it didn't work out. And... There we go. We'll take it then. Really, a lot of into the net there, helping Lady Bears finish that out. Well, that was, you know, she, Alice made one serve there, but then she missed, and that's three missed serves in a row when we were at points 22, 23, and 24. You can't have that. We will take it. So Lady Bears take the third set, 25-19, set four, coming up next. Where can you get good neighbor service and surprisingly great insurance rates? That's State Farm. Because State Farm agent David Cody is your one-stop shop in Ava for the service you deserve at the price you want. So stop looking around. State Farm agent David Cody is ready to help. Call 683-4141 for your surprisingly great rates today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Nancy at the crew at Long Dollar Furniture and Appliance right now with lots of appliances in stock. Electric and gas cook stoves, refrigerators, and some comfortable recliners. Come on in and set in one and see if it can work in your living room or man cave. That's Long Dollar Furniture and Appliance, 683-3424, located in the Old Barn Shopping Center. Mill Country title. Cheering on the Ava Bears, and if you're buying or selling or refinancing, we're providing title insurance and closing needs for our friends and neighbors in the Ozarks. Our offices are located in Ava, Gainesville, and in West Plains. You can give us a call at 683-1907. That's 417-683-1907 for Mill Country Title. Proud to cheer on the Ava Bears. When it comes to tough, versatile workhorses, nothing compares to Kubota's full line of RTV Series utility vehicles. Engineered to last and designed to deliver, Kubota's RTV X Series doesn't just lead the way on rugged dependability, it leads the pack. From big jobs to small projects and daily chores. Choose from America's top-selling family of diesel utility vehicles to help you do it all. Your local Kubota dealer, Edgler & Harper Farm Equipment, located in Mountain Grove. At Rick's Roofing, we have expanded our business. We are now dozing for timber and other excavating work. Skid steer work, some brush hogging, brush mulching. Also, helping you build your driveway, building houses or shop pads. Backhoe work, septic work, and dump truck gravel hauling. Free quotes. And of course, we're still taking care of your roofing needs too. 683-8081. That's 683-8081 for Rick's Roofing, LLC. Hi, this is Cindy Morgan. Are you a renter that has always dreamed of owning your own home but aren't sure where to start? Town & Country Bank can help. With our local lending team, Town & Country Bank has been helping renters make their dreams come true by giving them tools they need to own their very own home. Stop by today and let us help you take the first step. Town & Country Bank. Smart, friendly solutions. 
member FDIC, equal housing lender, NMLS 646007. Bunch of these well, we, got we, clothes from the attic. <laughs> we uh, rejoin you here in this fourth set as we are in this uh, best of five here. And uh, Sorry, Lady back. Bears have really, really much improved all around the game there in that uh, third set. Yeah, let's see. Let's see what we do with this one. Hopefully it stays. I like this staying on the same side because, man, anytime you used to switch sides in volleyball, I don't know what happened, but it was like you went through this vortex and it was a whole new game. Came don't have that. Other side of the multiverse. Here's the hit and New Covenant strikes first here in the fourth. Yep. We had a good touch on that block and that's just it, it spinning so fast and who knows where it's going to go so it's hard to read for our defense but Baylin did get a hand on it. That high arcing like she throws it up into the attic. Oh, Waiting up in the attic, huh? Down. Yeah. And, Throws uh, that ball up in the attic for the top spin serve. That's how high up it went. And now it is two to zero here. The falling behind two zero here in the early going. Nowhere we haven't been before. Yes. Familiar territory. There's a good hit by Balin and really puts New Covenant in the scramble drill. She's That's really putting a lot of heat on that ball too. Yeah, Lady Bears serving left to right here on the radio dial. So you got New Covenant playing with the stage area back there. And that last one got up, tangled in the curtains. Puts them in a pickle. It does put you in a pickle when you're back there defensively. And there's another nice serve from Eight. Akers. Right down the line. Sarah ready to fist pump that one. Oh, heck yeah. I call them free points. You don't have to work that hard for them. The whole team doesn't have to work for them. Just one person. Can't beat that. That one just a little too much Oof. bicep. Yep. That's what we're working on. She's got to figure out where she needs to stand on the court to serve. Because if you watch her, she's only to that block thing, you know. I don't know what it's called. Basketball block? The block, yeah. Yeah, she just needs to scoop that just a little bit more. She's got all the way to the wall to serve that ball. Keys to Gastineau. Sets it back. And Croston will hit it back over across. Lady Warriors up 3-2 over your Lady Bears here in the fourth. They've up 2-1 right now. That one goes off the ceiling. Warriors play it. Headed across. Lauren Hall. Gaffney sets up Hannah Evans. Evans tried to do a directional hit there, but Lady Warriors in position, and they're blocked into the net. No touch. And a point for Ava. Sarah Mendel back on. And you know the Covenant's at this point got to be like, oh gosh, here she comes again. Uh, it's like she's up there all the time. And you got to think, I mean, look at the individual she's across right yes. now. There is literally an eight inch height discrepancy. Oh, absolutely. Has to be in that girl's head. We're time. taller. We're taller than them and that doesn't happen very often for us. Do not get the <laughs> vertical height advantage very much. I do not ever. Life. Never. Especially in volleyball. 4-3. Oh! Yeah. What, what kind of what kind of serve was that? That was just uh, over and in. That was there wasn't anything special. She's working on trying to get a nice float on it, but it didn't float. It was just up and over. That one into the bleachers, and Ava's rattled off a few more points here. Yeah, I was waiting to see if you were going to say that. Man, the the covenant's really in a pickle here. <laughs> it's six to three. <laughs> This is what serve number three for Lauren. Yes, it is. Back to the jump. Oh, oh. little change up, and got to be a lift, right? Yeah, but you don't see that too much on. If I was New Covenant's coach, I wouldn't be very happy about that call because that first contact on either side can be pretty gross. Oh, nice oh. dig by Lauren. Gastonude and the and now we got competition up close and Alexander and Lily Auer were in kind of a one-on-one -on -one battle there and Auer got the better of that exchange. Yeah, and no offense to her, but she does not look like a middle blocker and she is blocking the heck out of the ball. 
And you'll notice New Covenant, like you said, they don't have a lot of height up there right now. She is pretty much their only blocker now, whenever we're hitting at them. So. And we send one into the net, so it's now seven to five. Lady Bears had got up by four, and the lead cut in half. Very quickly. Been back and forth all night long, and the last part of the third set as Sarah Mendel gets the point for Lady Bears. Last part of the third set was really the biggest gap uh, in the ball game for yep. either team. And trying to take that momentum with right. us into the fourth set here. Yeah, so this is where we really want to focus on get two points, get to ten. That's a five-point lead on them. There's one. And keep it going. You feel like a timeout probably coming pretty soon. From this Could be. Side. This is where I'm talking about that serve and pass game is so important. Important. Right now we're winning the serve game and they are definitely not winning the pass game. And they're, as another one just goes shanked over into the bleachers, it's just really hard to compete with that. If you can't get a, a, a good pass right off the serve, there's nothing you can do with it. And again, I think maybe you start, especially when you start getting into the fourth, fatigue starts becoming a little bit of a factor, right? Has yeah, to, it has to. I know I would be. Oh. There's and you know, like, you know, like. Because they are not as crisp as what they were. No, the absolutely not. Another into the net. Absolutely not. You know, you two, you know, like when you go to a tournament, you play two sets and then you play somebody else. I mean, three out of five playing the same team is hard mentally. It feels like a marathon. Yeah, and playing the same team, same looks over and over again. Well, we've been on the air at 6.33, and it's now 8.05. Man, it's a good thing I like you. Oh, man. <laughs> I, I owe you dinner for sure. Oh, come at, on at now. At the minimum. Oh, come on. Making us sound like we are very educated in volleyball here with well, our play-by-play -play and color. It's nothing I'd rather be doing. Here is Mendel, tips it up. That may be playing. <laughs> <laughs> There's a hit into the net. Lady Bears get another point. It's 12 to 6 now. And we've got coming in for the first time, Paris Henry, the freshman. Now, yes. Henry does have a good serve percentage. Yes. And I think that's what we're seeing this, this for. Um, one of the only freshmen uh, that has got varsity minutes or however right. you want to yeah. classify was, um, at, at that Springfield Catholic game, Lexi fell and kind of hit her head a little bit and was in concussion protocol. So Paris came in and played and played at Sparta and did a fantastic job to block one again. Yeah. So that's what she's in, just to serve for Lexi. She also said, so it's not any big... It's not any different for these girls to have her in there. Sends she's another got, one over. Yep, she's got a really consistent serve. Oop. That one off of Melton out of bounds. And yep. So Henry literally just coming in kind of as a serving specialist yep. right there. Yep. And uh, Gaston then quickly back in. For you know, and that's good. That's good. Like Lexi, I mean, like we've talked about, she's a softballer. This is the first time she's played in a long time. It gets some of the pressure off of her. Get you don't have to breath, serve. Maybe yeah. drink of water. Absolutely. Quick talk with the coach. Send that one too far deep, and the game starts to tighten up once again now. Yep. So we had got it up to a seven-point margin. Now it's at five. Lady Bears trying to win here three to one and unable to play that on the back row. 13 to 9. Three points unanswered. Classic example. We need to move our feet better. And we need to talk on that back row better. So she knows right away that ball's in or out. Nice set over to Akers. Akers tips it over. New Covenant now. Another unforced error. Yeah. That's something they were not doing the first no. two sets. But in the third and here in the fourth. Yep. The out of bounds and the hits into in the, the net. In the net. I feel like they've hit or even just tipped a two-hand tip ball into the net more than hitting anything out. I'd have to check the tdhmedia.net tape, but I'd say half the Ava points have come in this fourth. Oh. From New Covenant making the airs. Akers tries to tip it alive. We had two girls pass it over right there. Yep. 
Communication again, like what you've alluded to, needs to be a little crisper. And Mendel will pass it across. And it works. It works and it's a lot of chaos going on on our side. <laughs> I feel like Lexi Did you didn't see even. Bailey's reaction. Oh right yeah. There. Oh yeah. <laughs> I mean. This give this this kind of stuff gives you anxiety. A oh, bit. absolutely. But the fact that they were able to win the point, I was pretty stubborn <laughs> as we as. We went up and jousted for the ball, and Hannah came down. Didn't quite win it, but she will. Needs to work on those hands coming over to the side instead of just jousting out with somebody. 15 to 10 now. Yep. Lauren Hall. Destiny. Aker. <laughs> Boy, she got a hard hit in that one. Good dick by the Warriors. Akers. Gaskinu to Hannah Evans. Her turn, but too deep. Wasn't able to get that down force on it. Yep. And you see, you saw Hannah looking over here at Coach Lowe saying, I just need to snap a little bit more, and that's exactly what she needs to do. By the way, Kansas City Royals baseball up whenever we conclude this, whether it's after the fourth or after the fifth. Uh, big news day today for the Royals as they uh, promoted Dayton Moore, the president of operations. Oh, I did not and know that. hired another general manager, and, I, and this I'm not excited about, but the, uh -oh. uh, the lease at Kauffman Stadium runs up in 2030. They're talking about building a stadium in downtown Kansas City. You don't like that. that. Traffic, parking, oh. that just, uh, you know, getting old, Sarah. I mean, they got Seems that. Seems like a lot to deal with. They have that in St. Louis, the stadium downtown. I don't downtown. like St. Louis at all. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like going downtown there for a <laughs> ball game at all. Uh, that's why you just book a hotel, pay the extra money, stay downtown so you can just walk to the game. Oh, I've got too much booger counting in me to pay the downtown <laughs> hotel prices. You guys are all the same from here. <laughs> oh. We got the... Uh, Got a little uh, little request there from uh, the coach <laughs> of New Covenant that uh, student section is doing a, a little too much fraternizing. Would you? Is that what yeah, you call it? Uh, Since it's a frat party, I don't this, know. Is this the volleyball version of targeting? Uh, um, saying that they're calling out individual names and. Most of them are wearing masks, so I don't know how you'd really be able to decipher that anyway. No kidding. So, I, I... So. Well, what would a sporting night be without just a little bit of controversy? And Coach Loge will go tell Coach Nash. And, Coach Nash. Or, uh, <laughs> Mrs. Nash, sorry. I love it. Uh, this is something I've, I've seen Teresa make this walk over the student section uh, many, many a times, 15, 16, 17 years ago. You've never been a part of that, have you? Uh, what? Well, I, I was, was there a couple incident? I, I don't was, know. I was always over on the parents' side, being a good person. And Absolutely. Wasn't around these ruffians. No, uh, never, so, never. Uh, never, never been on the other side of that. But uh, so. always on the straight and narrow. I know. No explanation needed. Nope. We don't need to dive further into that one. 15-11. And wow, Melton. Boy, she was caught up in air. And got enough yelling going on there to yes, where uh, finally. Now there was the communication finally. that you were talking about. So we got Baylin and Alexander coming back in. She's starting out left side, and we got Addie serving. This has been a great run for us. Not quite as good as when Baylin's serving, but still very good. 16-11, our score. And that'll be a point for New Covenant as it gets now to 16-12. Tighten it up a little bit, getting just a hair testy. Tighten up with the belt. You know, if we can play a little cleaner on our side, it won't be that way. So. There's hey. and another one into the net. Yeah. We, uh, we have been on the fortunate receiving end of a. And now that, that, that puts us in a great position. Now it's 17 12 instead of 16 13. We're getting a little bit of an edge that we need back from them. Yeah, try to get to 20 here while you're serving, going to your theory of playing Look at five that at a serve. time. 
Keely Agers, you were talking about that earlier and uh, hadn't seen her serve much, but boy, here in the uh, third and fourth, she has been a weapon. That's what I'm telling you. You know, if she can just keep it in, that's her main problem right now, is keeping it in. She's got a, a, a tough serve. Lauren Hall to Gastineau, up over Baylin Alexander that's, and the Lady Bears. That's been money all night, all night. I haven't seen too many that Baylin hasn't got a kill off of. I'd like to see the stats for that and see how many she's got. It's, you got him? I don't have him pulled up oh. right here. Let me let me phone a friend and call Dr. Clint <laughs> Hall to get him to work oh. it up for me. Oh! <laughs> Keely Haker served it right into the back of Hannah Evans and Hannah turns around like, what gives, friend? What gives, friend? <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we can chuckle about it because we're up six. Yes. But uh, that uh, 1913, where yes. we're at here, we need to get to six before they get to 12. Lauren Hall bumps it up to Gastineau, back to Lauren, hits it back middle. Set up close towards the net, block, tips it up in the air. Gastineau will set up Evans, looks pretty set up. They're able to play it. Three None balls. of their hitters on the, co the Covenant side are really getting off the net, so they're not being able to do much. That and was then, uh, a little bit of a knuckler there to yep. caught the top of the net. Flipped over on the side. Yep. Once we convinced her that she was going to get some sets back there, was going to get to rip the ball, she's in, and now you can't get her off of off the, of the barrel. The so Lauren. Got to Jamie Loach so much, he can't sit anymore. He's standing <laughs> now. Over Ooh. in the corner. Frosten to Gastineau to Sarah Mendel. Oh. Running tip hit there. High up in the air on the Warriors' side. Key, Gastineau, Mendel, Tomahawk, chop it down. Slamma jamma. Slamma jamma. And the momentum firmly with the Ava Lady Bears right now. Now I know I know you've watched these girls play a lot of basketball. You ever see Sarah smile like that on the basketball floor? I tell you what, the girls are having fun. Yes. That helps with the momentum as well, you know? Oh yeah. That was big believer in the better you feel, the better you play. Absolutely. And another point for Lady Bears, and look, Lauren's smiling, Keys is smiling. You don't ever not really see Samantha Keys not smiling. Oop. Yeah, she's got a happy-go-lucky personality. Right? She is. She's a fun kid to be around. 22-13, I do believe we have a side out right there. 22-14 now, Lady Warriors with it on their side. We'll do a quick post-game wrap after this. Hopefully nice after this here in a few points. Ooh. And get to the Royals. That looks like in and it is. Boy, how about the hitting of Alexander, Akers, and Mendel in the third and fourth set? It's a great combination. Even Melton, Mallory Melton, you know, she's been in pretty darn consistent out there on the outside when we needed her too, but all of them. I mean, how many did you rattle? Even Lauren, Lauren Hall in the back row. I mean, that's five hitters. We only need six out there, you know? Uh, 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 advantageous numbers game yes. for us. And we have one of our few unforced airs there, sending it to the net, 23-15. Yeah, that's that good rotation of Baylin serving. You don't see her miss very often. All to Gastineau, Melton, and it lands on the side, and right in there, queued it up. There, the young sophomore, Mallory Melton, outside hitter with a good one. Gastineau out, and the freshman comes in to try to ice it here, Paris yep. Henry. Paris Henry. Good team effort from the Lady Bears. Absolutely. In this third and fourth set. Everyone having a hand on it. Sarah's flexing. Showing it to Keeley. Got a little wall. Greg's writing something down on his little handy-dandy note card there. Is that a Blue's Clues reference? Handy dandy note. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I've never watched that. Oh. And that is a point for New Covenant. Twenty-four to sixteen. One more side out, Sarah. Yes. I'd like to see us end on a kill. I got a fever, and the only prescription is a side out. Right <laughs> here. 
A kill. No, we don't want it. We, oh. Boy, Coach Lowe just about jumped up out of the gym wanting the slam a jamma there. Gastineau passes it back over across. Lady Bears looking for the game ender. Clincher, good dig by Gastineau. Akers to Mendel, hits it back, and it's out. Too far out. 24, 17. We are in the fourth set. Ava trying to ice it. Ooh, Lauren Hall, up. that was kind of a self-defense. Put it up in the air, and then we're into the net again. So, having just a little trouble putting it away here, but still a decent cushion, 24-18. Yep. But need to go ahead and end it before it gets any closer. Gastineau to Aker. There we go. And that will do it. Easy getting Lady a Bear, kill. Take it. Three out of four. They win three to one. Last one, 25-18. Sarah Roy, thank you so, so much for joining us here. Good win. High five, Coach Lowe. Absolutely good Way win. Way to go. So ah. that will wrap it up and do it for us. We'll do a post-game wrap up next. Yeah.